was gate didn't get Lapis got away last night and I'm so glad she didn't escape. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Lapis, why are you on the roof? Yeah. Good morning, baby creator. We're here at the farm. We can meet tomorrow. Okay, oh. Oh, and the fauna and glimmer deer and the crazy crazy critter crazy oh this is a cra crazy girl the crazy oh my god hi roger and oh. oh oh she's not done yet amara's chewing on my leg hello yes okay just eat my overall today is a very exciting video thank you red because we are getting a new baby and we're gonna be filming the place that he's coming from which is the beautiful the amazing Dragonstone Ridge! Yeah, Red! Yeah! Sadly, Red can't come with me. Stay tuned to see who the new baby is. I'm gonna take care of the animals real quick and then we're gonna go. I'm so excited. You're stinky like a deer, Glimmer. Oh, much fun. Oh, yes. So, so, so much fun. <laughs> Red! Good morning, Lapish Bird. Red! Take a bite. I'm so excited to be able to take you guys with me to tour Dragonstone Ranch. So many incredible animals call this place home, and it was really cool getting to see just how much effort is put into maintaining such a large-scale conservation-based zoo. You guys are gonna love this video. Let's go! So Dragonstone Ranch is a USDA licensed breeder, and we started off the tour by seeing some of their cute hedgehogs and sugar gliders. The bins are way easier to sanitize, but the mamas live here. Okay. But yeah. when they're when they're expecting, you move them over to the nursing wall. Oh my goodness, how beautiful! Is this like a pied one? We call them pint, pinto. Do you usually have these available like all year? All year round, yeah. Year. These and sugar gliders year round, um, as well as kangaroos and wallabies, and the munchaks too. But the rest of them are seasonal, and it's that season where they're all being born right now. But wait, before the sugar gliders, I got to see something really awesome. This is them doing an ultrasound on one of their pregnant ruffed lemurs. What's her name? Her name is Ray, R-E-Y. Ray. All of our uh, ruffed lemurs have a Star Wars theme name. Oh, I love so that. So her husband's, husband's Kylo. Kylo. He's Cheers. a red ruffed lemur, of course. Oh. So, and she's a tricolor, so they'll make really pretty colored babies, you know. Is they it get like make a mix of the Mix of, yeah, Neapolitan yeah. ice cream, I oh. like to call it. So. But what we're going to check her for babies. Right now, this is Shannon, our vet. Hi, yep. nice to meet you. And this is our other animal <laughs> care team. We have Abby and Hector. Hi, guys. Hi. So we work with them with the grapes and train them to do this kind of stuff, so they get used to it. She's been ultrasound for three years now. And so if you look over here on the screen, you're going to see it right away. So you can oh, see this baby's right there. That. And there's one, then there's two. Little there's head, the head. There's the head. You see the head and the front legs? The head's the right head. here. Yes, sugar glider heaven. <laughs> sugar glider heaven. So this is one of the newer sugar glider morphs. Oh good, it just cooks so Yeah. Good one here. <laughs> Perfect timing. It's a caramel albino as well as a platinum. Yeah, so a caramel piece of boy, caramel albino is recessive, platinum is recessive, and then white face is dominant. Oh, <laughs> we're making intense eye contact. <laughs> Ringtail. Oh, I love ringtails. Since we're obsessed with lemurs here, I love the ringtailed gliders. So I breed for the ringtails a lot. Oh my god. This one's name is Magnificent. She sold to another breeder, but super cool coloring. That is a pied right there. Yeah. And she has an asymmetrical face. This makes me want to get another sugar glider. <laughs> oh my god, they all start coming. Yeah. Okay, we ready? Here we go. Hello, everyone. Okay. This is Jezebel right here. She's the queen. And her sister Pussy up here, she used to be the queen, so she's Queen Regent, we call her now. So do you know what you might name this little baby yet? Um we we kinda name him after we figure out the sex. I haven't yeah. sex. She was just born he she was just born this morning. I kinda just look under her tail if she lets me, but it's, by like, it's a girl. Oh it's a girl? It's a girl. <laughs> Bad throw. <laughs> I'm sure people will ask, how do you tell them apart? You just their personalities, the way they their look. Faces I can are look different. at their faces are their all faces. different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People ask the same thing about my animals sometimes. So I guess when you spend every day with them, exactly. you, you can yeah. tell. Yeah. Go yeah. see. Oh, oh the little noises. You ever wanted to hear what the jungle probably sounds like at night? Well, here you go. <laughs> Oh my 
my gosh, that is crazy. I love how they walk. Yeah. Dragonstone Ranch does a lot of work with lemurs especially, and it was really, really cool getting to talk with them and see how much love and care is put into their work with these animals. They're actually in the process of building a new section purely for rescued lemurs, as they do take in a lot of rescue lemurs every year, and they do a lot of educational work to teach the public and talk about how to responsibly keep them. So this whole area is going to be yeah. one big one, and then there's another one over here. This is rescue lemur land. Hi, honey. Hello. Hey, Mama. Did she let you pet her much? She gets yeah. used to certain people. <clears throat> there it goes. Oh. Just like that, the, the Munchak neck scratch. Oh, they kind of awesome. remind me of a chihuahua. He's a taller one. <laughs> like a little dog. He's yeah. a really tall one, actually. Really? So tall. <laughs> just watch because they yeah. when they bite they will get your finger if you're not well, careful. Well, they're just really excited about the grapes. Yeah, they're, <laughs> so they're not trying to. They just bite aggressively for grapes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they do, don't they? Yeah, you put your finger in there. And it's like yeah. Which one of these did you have in the house? I actually hand raised both, but put them back out. Hi. Can I pet there you? It is. Can I pet you? You can pet this one more friendly. I mean, she's, she? she's just a little skittish. Pet. Oh yeah. my gosh. It's like a little puppy dog <laughs> or a cat. It takes you both. Oh, they really have oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, those ears. So in the wild, they probably. Oh, they can use hear it. Um, it's for hearing termites underground. Termites underground. Yeah. Obviously, we can't feed them termites, yeah. you know, in captivity, so. They get a heavy insect diet. We though. give them, uh, I have superworms and mealworms. Okay. We also have a variety of dried insects. But we also give them commercial dog and cat food. Okay. Uh, pinkies, small mice, chicks. Oh, okay, well, I need one of these now, too. Yeah, but for, like, <laughs> for people who have families, they're like, I want a lemur. No, you mm -hmm. don't. I'm like, you want a bearded fox, ask yeah. a dog, it's not going to bite your kids, you know. Non-aggressive and easy to train. They're really easy to potty train. I know. You want some more. Yes. You want it? Okay. Oh. <laughs> You're a good girl. Oh. They're right down here. Wow. Oh, they're so cute. Cape fox. Where are these they're from? They're really new. All, all of our foxes are of African origin. This one, that's Betty. We call them the Golden Girls. So she's Betty White. She's only like three or four. This is the female rescue troop, so she was surrendered to us. You guys get a lot of yeah. lemur surrenders? <laughs> Just a couple a year. But no, each one's a 20, 30 year Come commitment. Here. Come here, baby. This is the, I just say, this is the cotton top. top. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see his little face in there. They're so small. Yeah, that's so wow. Hey, Chico. Mmm, it's yummy. They look like little old men. These are my favorite. I love them. Yeah. Red, red hand. hand. Red hand. Yeah, oh, okay. Red hand. This is Amstel. His mate's name is Amber, and she's pregnant. We think so. Oh, it's exciting. They're just like little These people. These have cats in the in spring. Once I get all the plants in them, they look like a jungle in here. Yeah. Man, this is before it's winter, dead. so it's all the, all the plants are dead. <laughs> She's very excited about that, <laughs> truly. <laughs> She's been a little sick the past few months, so she, she's putting her weight back on. That's good. She got so a great Chico right oh, they there. Have great no. yeah. um, oh, this yeah. is Guinness oh. and White Claw. I'm guessing this one's White Claw. Yeah. <laughs> you can train them to do just about anything. They'll follow you. Really? Yeah. Nice. One customer's got it, and it she'll say spin and it spins in a circle. What? And just shows, yeah. They're so smart. These are African yeah. porcupines? African yes, African crusted. crusted. African crusted, not crusted. Not crusted. <laughs> crusted. <laughs> They're a little crusty. That's they the move rocks. Oh, yeah. They They'll pick it up. The teeth like that one right there is no problem for them to pick up oh. and move. Wow. So there's no room oh. raised all the rocks and everything. <laughs> wow. Contrary to popular belief, porcupines do not shoot their quills Thank out. Thank you for saying. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a video on Facebook the other day. Some guy was like, porcupines will shoot their quills at you 20 miles an hour. And I was like, yeah. So it's basically like a forced action type of thing if, if something slams they into their up. quills. They back, they back up, up and stick you and then they let yeah. go. Like, but these guys are very tame. And yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah. yeah. Do they drop the quills a lot? Yeah, they can. Oh, there's yeah, so there's many. Some oh, oh. Albino and Thank you. That's so cool. Chopsticks. Yeah, chopsticks. Oh, oh my gosh. I did not know that they could climb that well. <laughs> oh yeah, they can climb all the way up. 
So they have the indoor yeah, shelter. Indoor, so we have AC going on right now. They can go oh, in there anytime, huh? Yeah, but they like it out here. Yeah, I bet they're they desert like animals. Even when it's they freezing don't cold, they'll stay out under the rocks and not go inside. And really? really? Have access to so we do feed and water only inside, so yeah. they know. Okay, last one. When it gets last really one. bad, we can lock them in. Yeah. Meeting their giant cloud rats was really cool. These are some really rare animals. Met a couple more lemurs, and then it was time to see the hoof stalks. Giant antelope that you see drinking the bottle is a baby eland. They're the largest antelope in the world. All of our, yeah, all of our minis are highland or high park. Hi, cute girl. Hi. <laughs> I can't get over how tall she is. A baby. It got really windy right here, but they had some adorable mini cows and they had a beautiful white blue eyed elk, which I also kind of wanted to take home. Maybe someday I'll get one of these babies. And her name was Arwen. Anyways, more tiny cows. Oh my gosh, yes. she's huge. <laughs> she's due next month. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I love this. He's here for time off because he's been digging it He's been digging. You're beautiful. He looks yeah. bigger than mine. Hi, guys. <laughs> Which kawadi are these? These are mountain kawadis. There's a few different kinds. Yeah. Right? And these are reds. They're much smaller. They're actually a subspecies of the mountain. And um, white nose. So we have uh, the three types. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we licensed specifically by Texas Parks and Wildlife to oh. uh, raise and sell these. And we're one of the only two facilities in Texas. The white nose specifically? For white nose, yeah. Okay. Only because they're native to Texas. But I personally love the personalities of the kangaroos. Come on, babies! Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, it's so cute! I loved meeting and feeding all the adorable roos and wallabies, and then it was on to the next part of the tour, the vet clinic. So that's our free roaming troop. They're coming at two years old. Awesome. Hi, guys! Queen Daenerys, that's Brienne, Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Love the names. Yeah, this will be the vet clinic. So there'll be a OR in this corner, and then we'll have a lab over here, and a prep room, and then this will be a treatment room in here. Over here we have vet stalls. What's that? What's up, Truffles? <laughs> Hi, yeah, but these will be all our vet stalls when they're finished. So we can put sick animals in here and treat them and take care of them. This is so awesome. <laughs> these two are getting bonded. So Truffle here, she's super sweet. Truffle. Like she you. free roams usually with the ringtails, but says she's bonded with Ant-Man, I call him. Ant-Man. <laughs> <laughs> They've been in here for a week. a week, yeah. Well, they were all in here when it was cold. Giving them like a neutral territory to meet Yeah, them, to meet and greet and yeah. become lovers. And <laughs> oh. I didn't know they made that sound. I didn't notice with the other ones. They yeah. do, yeah. Oinky do oinky doink. This is really like the ultimate dream that you guys have here. This is just amazing. It's been six years of nonstop construction. It That's work. I was gonna ask how long you've been working on everything. And 2018 is when we started. This catwalk goes up and when the giraffes are in here, we can feed them in here. <laughs> this is so cool. There's a giraffe in here if you want to see There's it. a giraffe in here. Oh. That's the inside barn. Oh. That is Kirby. Kirby. Nintendo name. I can't. Yes. I love it. <laughs> How old is she? She was born in July. Born in July. July. That's a big baby. Yes. So we're weaning her down to half, half milk. She's going to be grumpy when she doesn't get milk anymore. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can hear it going down her neck. When she got here, she was like this tall. Yeah, six feet when she got here. She was about a month or two months old. Yeah, when you meet them at the zoo, you only really get to give them a piece of lettuce. In the <laughs> oh, that's cute. We're actually going to build a ramp down this hill, and the giraffes will be roaming in the bottom pasture down there. And then uh, we're starting a blood bank so we can go in and have plasma that we can trade with zoos and things like that. Wow. Yeah, Safe and just and train them and work with them and let people experience them. One of the big problems you have with giraffe is foot care and captivity. Mm -hmm. So we have a, if we walk around here, I can show you the chute. Yeah. Get them up at the top and then these bottom doors open down here at the bottom, you can see. And then you can get in and work on their feet while wow. you're protected from the giraffe. They like it. Yoshi and them will come in. <laughs> Those are the girls. Kirby and Peach. I wanted to simulate a whole bunch of different terrains. Mm -hmm. so we use this 
this granite stuff crushed everybody granite. uses, yeah. crushed granite. And then we put grass and we have this hill, so they walk up and down the hill all the time. And they got a whole rocky area over there too. And what we found with the giraffe hooves is we really haven't had a huge problem with the foot care with like, these whoa. three. Now Zelda, she still needs some work. We need to file hers down because she was in one of the stalls over here for the winter mm -hmm. where the horse barn is. That makes sense. I'm sure their environment in the wild really uh, shaves it, down their right. hooves naturally. Well, yeah. it varies too, right? Because yeah. you know they're standing around all day long and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. having the up and down and over the hill and through the woods to grandmother's house <laughs> you know, it's, uh, yeah. it's a much better place. We can walk down wall. this hill and we'll have another giraffe barn at the bottom of the hill and then they'll have access to a hundred acre running around down at the bottom. These definitely have to be the happiest, friendliest giraffes I've ever seen. They do so much work training them in different ways to create a positive atmosphere, especially when it comes to vet care and routines, using lots of positive reinforcement and training methods like tap training, like you see with this ball here that they use during the feeding. It was incredibly cool hearing about their techniques with the terrain and keeping their hooves naturally trimmed down. These are the most well cared for giraffes I have ever seen. Yoshi! There's a less than 3,000 pygmy hippos in the entire world. In the world? Yeah, in the world. We just had a baby born, so that's, that's so one more. Hi. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. They're more solitary than the Nile hippos. They live in the forest a lot more and spend more time on land than water, actually. We have this alley up here so you can get all the way up and deal with it. We're going to put an alley up this side right here. And then for the new baby, I'm going to build the pond on the other side in Lemurland. So we'll have the baby hippo running around in Lemurland with the lemurs. We have lemurs that ride on turtles and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> oh so God. I'm hoping they become friends yeah. pretty quick so and grow up together. Yeah, there's not as many pygmy hippos. Like That's I said, so there's cool. about 2,500 yeah. in the whole world. Captivity and wild. This is so cool. I'm still just in shock that I got to get in the water with and feed a pygmy hippo and see a baby one up close. There's less than 3,000 left in the whole world. Open. Good girl. Open. Good girl. Whoa. She's much more cooperative than Hagrid. So this is Hedwig. Hedwig. And that's Buckbeak. And Buckbeak. Open. Oh, the Open. Good girl. We got cabbage. We got cantaloupe rinds. We got carrots, apples, pineapples. And if you just keep doing open and holding it and feeding them treats, then we can ultrasound them. She'll stay right there. So that's definitely like necessary to, to working with these guys. For sure. Training them to do that yeah. stuff. Yeah. You can't restrain them very easily. <laughs> yeah. Mommy. Oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> After the fun time with the hippos, we drove around and I got to see a lot of their other exotic hoof stock. You can see a full list of what they keep and work with on their website. Oh yeah, they also have a freaking monster truck that they use for tours sometimes. And look at all these beautiful horses. I love horses. A uh, secret for you guys that don't know, I've always wanted a horse. I'm just not ready for one yet, but someday I will have a horse. And hopefully mine will be as quirky and funny as this one. Also got to see some of their endangered hoof stock, and this was another example of how how using the terrain is a great way to keep their hooves down. The Grevy Zebra Zell. The Grevy Zebras are endangered. Grevy. Go oh. grainy, but with an E. <laughs> <laughs> then it was time for our picnic with the lemurs. As many of you know, there's going to be an extremely rare eclipse event happening on April 8th, 2024. And Dragonstone Ranch just happens to be directly in the path of totality. Because of that, they're going to be having an eclipse event and festival. I highly recommend checking out their website at dragonstoneranch.com to see about getting tickets and going to this because it's going to be basically a once-in-a-lifetime event. Oh yeah, and of course you can also book a picnic with lemurs. Like, who wouldn't want to do this? It was amazing! They can go to your website to book and stuff. Mm -hmm. We'll set that up pretty soon. We have the Eclipse event um, oh, yeah. the weekend before April 8th. That's going to be cool. So that's when oh. we'll start <laughs> offering tours. Look at that toe! It's a hand for feet. Oh. Hands for feet. Okay, so this one is Ula. I'm oh, the one. lemur! Hugged one? <laughs> oh. I'm here with the owners of Dragonstone Ranch. Hello. Hello. So how many acres do you have? 2,100. And how much of it is used for the animals, would you say? We're probably using 400, 450. We're getting ready to put in a new new pen that's going to be a potential drive through going forward, which is oh, about cool. 800 acres over by the mountain. We have the highest point in Corio County, oh. so you'll be able to go up there and look around. So I would fun. love to go walk around there and look for fossils. Yeah. Uh, arrowheads. Everywhere. You find them? Oh yeah, lots I, of arrowheads 
everywhere. I want to find one so bad. <laughs> We're a USDA license. We have a C license so we can exhibit, um, but we mostly breed and you know sell animals to other zoos breeding facilities, um, as well as to some approved pet homes that we screen. Big conservation efforts, so we have a lot of endangered species. We have a foundation, um, well, basically a nonprofit, that we're working in with Lemurland and the hippos and things like that, so we can do a lot of research. Uh, like I mentioned about the giraffes and their feet footwork and how yeah. to get that better, the hippos and being able to you know, really help the species there, and then just do a lot of educational stuff with lemurs. So in the Lemurland, there's gonna be a tree house that you'll be able to go in and sit oh. in the tree house and yes. re record information with the Whoa. lemurs. I want to see that when you guys yeah. get that built. Yeah, it's coming. Lemur Land should open in the summer as well. So we're okay. moving right along. What's your screening process for when for someone wants to adopt a pet home? Yeah, We have an adoption application and it's different for all species, um, even hedgehogs and sugar gliders. So we basically ask what their home situation is like and we kind of quiz them on what diet you're going to have make sure they're going to have a good diet mm -hmm. a proper enclosure we do offer a care guide on our website for them to read first so mm -hmm. they know um, that we want them to read our care guide so we know they're getting the correct information do you have any other plans you want to talk about for your future plans for Dragonstone? I know the you Eclipse said. event. That's, yeah. a big, eclipse that's event. our first time we're open to the that's public. Yeah, the big eclipse event, the 8th of April. There is a party with uh, animal encounters and we'll have a band with a barbecue, hang out, and we're going to sell tickets to that. We also have some Airbnb rooms that are available in the house too for people that want to come Ooh. stay. It'll be all yeah. weekend that weekend yeah. from April 5th to April 8th. And you can do the eclipse from the highest point in Coryell County. And awesome. then we have RV spots and some camping spots too. can't believe you've done all this since 2018. I that know. is crazy. <laughs> yeah, this spot was so thick cedars you couldn't even walk through it. What's your favorite animal here to work with if you had to pick? Lemurs. Lemurs, lemurs for me for sure. Lemurs. I love the lemurs. They're yes. my favorite. Awesome. And we started with a lemur. We started with one lemur. Yeah. Her name is Dax. She's a ring-tailed lemur. She's five years old. We got her when she was a baby and after that we got another pair and another pair rolled rolled into <laughs> all of this. Mm. It was it was pretty spontaneous, but we you know we didn't cut corners. We researched and we got with other breeders and learned as much as we could for each species that we acquired. So well I always recommend anyone who's interested in pretty much anything that you guys have I talk to you guys. Sugar gliders too. Always yeah. recommend people come to you for Thank all you. that. It's amazing. I love this place. Thank you for the tour. Oh yeah. you bet. Thank you for coming out. <laughs> and what's your website again? It's dragonstoneranch.com. And your Facebook same thing? Yep. Uh, Facebook.com slash Dragonstone Ranch. And Instagram? Same thing. Instagram.com <laughs> and... slash Dragonstone Ranch. Is that how it goes? Oh, yeah. Know. Or at Dragonstone Ranch. Probably. Yeah. Do you have a TikTok yet? We do. Okay. At Dragonstone Ranch. Okay. <laughs> how about Twitter? Make it easy. No, we don't have Twitter. Okay. Oh, it is X. It is X. <laughs> Nobody calls it X. <laughs> guys get to see the animal I'm bringing home. <laughs> Oh. You get his butt right now. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Deer pellets. It's a one to three ratio for okay. the does match. I have your USDA form in there. And your bottle and nipple. Right here. Love this bag. Yes. It's and a perfect baby bag. This is so cute. So he'll need to eat later tonight. Yeah, just one more time. All right, now, quick flashback to when I met Cashew earlier in the day, but I wanted to leave it at the end of the video as a surprise for you guys. Look at this little baby. Hi, It'll Cashew. <laughs> Hi. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. It takes a little to get used to like new people. Yeah. Woo! Oh my god. Scared me. Hello. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hello. They go when they want. I seriously had the most amazing time visiting Dragonstone Ranch and I'm sure you guys would too. Stay tuned for updates on Baby Cashew and see you in the next video. Bye guys.